7.5, solving problems involving right triangles. Example 1. From a point 40 meters from a tree, the angle of elevation to the top of the tree is 65 degrees. Find the height of the tree. So, we need to visualize what this looks like. So, here we have a tree, and I just want you to understand the drawing from here. So, for example, when you look at this drawing, and you see this tree, and you see the 65, angle of elevation, or if you have an angle of depression, it is always from a horizontal. So, think of it always when you draw the triangle, the angle that is from a horizontal line, this being the horizontal line right here, the angle from the horizontal line is always your either your angle of elevation or angle of depression. And how is a 65 degree going this way an angle of depression as well as an elevation? Well, you would have to think about, let's say there was a bird at the top of this tree and the bird was looking out and then it sees its friend down here at the bottom. It would have to look down 65 to see its friend. Its friend has to look up 65 to see the bird at the top of the tree. So the idea is that whether it's an angle of elevation or depression, it doesn't matter. It's always from a horizontal. So this is the angle, and we measure the angle from the horizontal, just like this. And we're going to mark that angle, okay? And when we mark it, we know that whenever the, we have a mark, the mark touches the adjacent and the hypotenuse. The tree makes a 90 degree angle with the ground, so we can assume that the tree is 90 degrees to the ground. The 90 degree angle points to the hypotenuse. So this x here, the height of the tree, is not the hypotenuse, but what it is, is it's the opposite side to 65 degrees. 40 is the adjacent side. So what uses opposite and adjacent? Well, that would be, that's right, the toa part of Soka toa. Toa means it will be tangent of the angle, 65, equals opposite, which is x, over adjacent, which is 40. And you do 40 times tan 65, and that equals x. And x equals 85.7803 meters. So that is the height of the tree. Now, if you were asked to round it, you would round it only in the therefore statement. Something else to note. Don't forget that when the unknown is on top, we multiply. If the unknown is on the bottom, we divide. So here, we're multiplying. Let's look at another problem. Here we go. And a geologist wanted to determine the height of a rock pillar in a river. A theodolite was set up and measurements taken. Find the height of the cliff to the nearest meter. So the theodolite is usually measured along here. So one would be here, one part of the instrument would be here, the other part of the instrument would be here and that's at a 75 meter distance from each other. What this is, this part is the flat along the river. This up here is the cliff that you're looking at, and from here to here is where we're going to get to the cliff. Now we want to know the height of the cliff. A height of anything is always at a 90 degree angle. In fact, our height is going to be here. This will be the height of the cliff that we're looking for. But in order to find the height of this cliff, we need to do some other work first. Note here, this is a 90 degree triangle flat on the ground. So what do we do? We mark the 52 and we mark that and say, okay, this is my adjacent because the hypotenuse is where the right angle points to. And this side over here is going to be the opposite side. We need that side, that opposite side. Opposite side, why? We need that. Why do we need it? 
Well, that would be because in order to find this side, that will help us find the height of the cliff eventually. So opposite and adjacent is tangent. So we're going to use tangent of 52 is equal to y over 75. We're going to multiply because the unknown is on the top. And that gives us 95.9956. So that is our, actu our value. Now again, it's approximate value of the width of the river. That would be this piece right here. This piece will allow us to find x. So we need to find this side before we can find x. So we do that and we label the sides again. And this time when we mark the angle here, the 61 that's over here, this side here turns into the adjacent side. That's why I called it, called it adjacent here. And x is the opposite to the angle of 61. So again, we would use tangent to solve for this. Tangent of 61 is equal to x over 95.9956. And we get a value. And that multiply, and that turns into 173.1806. What does that mean for us? Well, folks, when you think about it, what that means is that that is the approximate value. In the therefore statement, we round to the nearest meter, and the cliff's height is... 173 meters. So again, within the question, we didn't round. We only round in our final statement answer. All right, that is the end of this unit, this section. Let's look at one more example. So example three, a communication antenna is attached to the roof of a school and held in place with two 16 meter wires. The antenna is 2.5 meters tall. What angle do the wires make with the roof? And then the second part is at what distance from the base of the antenna should the wires be secured to the roof. So there's two parts to this question. So we need to have a drawing and we're going to represent the first part. So let's look here. We have a 2.5 meter antenna attached to a roof with 16 meter wires on each side. Now we need to know what angle do the wires make with the roof. So this is our wire this is the angle that the wire makes with the antenna. So right up here is the wire that the wire makes with the antenna. Down here is the angle that the wire makes with the roof. So logically we need to find the angle that the wire makes with the roof. That's the little blue one here. So one more time. We have the angle that the wire makes with the roof. We have 16 meter wire, uh, wire, that is the hypotenuse because the antenna makes a 90 degree angle with the roof. And then, so 2.5 meters is opposite the marked angle, 16 meters is the hypotenuse. What uses opposite and hypotenuse? That's right folks, sine. Sine of the angle theta is equal to 2.5 over 16. Take the inverse, because we're looking for an angle, sine inverse of 2.5 over 16 turns out to be 8.9893 degrees. So it's a very, very small angle that this wire makes with the roof. All right, now, next is we need to answer how far should the, antenna, the wire be away from the antenna to be secured to the roof. So we need to know this distance here. Well, we measure it by taking x is equal to, well, if we look at the measurements, we have this measurement, we have this measurement, we could easily find this measurement by using Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem says that 16 squared is equal to 2.5 squared plus x squared. 
When you isolate for x, you get x is equal to 16 squared minus 2.5 squared. That's Pythagorean theorem. And you end up with a value of 15.8035. So the wires make an 8.9893 degree angle and should be secured 15.8035 meters away from the antenna. And that, folks, is the end of the different types of word problems you could be exposed to in this unit. All right, folks, that's the end of it. Have a great night. Have a numerical day. Take care.